Hi guys. I am back with a little bit of a wig chat. Um, as you can see, this is a wig that I just received. Um, I purchased it from Ace Wigs because it was on sale and the sale price was fantastic. This is Jackson. She's by Narico Wigs. She is not a lace front. She is a basic cap wig. The shade is chocolate frost. And it is the second Jackson in the same shade that I have. Now, that's basically what I want to talk about. I want to talk about two things. One is if you have a wig that you like, I suggest you buy multiples. And if you do like that wig and you want to buy multiples, check out the sales because not all wig sale prices are the same. Now, what prompted me to make this video was that in my email, I received a ton, like a ton of Labor Day um, sales from different wig sites. Um, pontificating that the prices were so great. The prices were like 60% off, 50% off like this, that, and the other thing. So I went online and I started perusing the sites. And what I discovered, and this is purely me, you may not agree with me, you may agree with me, it's all subjective. What I found was that the sales, a lot of them weren't really that great. It was all marketing and advertising. Um, I think that if I'm going to purchase a markdown wig or an inventory clearance wig that has already been marked down, I want that 50% additional markdown to be like less than $100. And a lot of these sites just don't follow through. Now, Jackson for a basic cap wig usually retails around $176, more on some sites, less on others. Um, I don't think that price is necessarily a fair price for a basic cap wig, but that's just me. Anyway, I happen to be a fan of Jackson. For I, I honestly believe this is the best basic cap wig out there, like hands down. This is the greatest basic cap wig. So maybe for some people who don't like a lace cap wig, the price is justified still isn't justified for me. So I happened to see this on sale at Ace Wigs for a great price. And I purchased it and I'm really happy with my purchase. Another, um, another company that I think does a great, great, great job with um, the sale pricing is Sister Wigs, Wigs Closeout. Wigs Closeout is kind of like I guess a sub department of sister wigs and the prices are crazy good. Heather does a great job when she discounts wigs because they are truly discounted. Now, a lot of them are returned wigs for what it's worth. They're in great shape. I have ordered from Wigs Closeout and I have never, ever, 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 ever had a problem. I have been very satisfied with everything. Um, I find their delivery to be on point. I've never had a problem with delivery. The same with Ace Wigs. Now I know that Ace Wigs probably isn't as well known as a lot of the other wig companies, but I think when Ace Wigs does have a good sale, they have a good sale. Um, I'm very happy with this. Now, do I have to manipulate Jackson? Just a little. I'm just going to steam 
the top bang just like right here so she doesn't fall into my face. Hold on. I actually do have my original one. So I'm going to put her back for a minute and then I'm taking out my original one. See what I mean? I steamed the top of this so that she doesn't fall into my face. And I did just take like those little shears and just went like this to just make the bang area just like a millimeter shorter. But overall, Jackson Chocolate Frost, this is a great repeat wig. And I am even amazed at how much I love this wig even though she's not a lace front, she's incredibly comfortable, like super comfortable. The fit is fabulous. And honestly, every time I wear her, I get compliments. Like I wore, I wore this to work last week, one day last week. I couldn't believe the amount of people that were like, hey, Kathy, that looks really good on you. That's a really nice wig. So yeah, I'm a fan of Jackson, but I'm also, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm also a fan of buying wigs on sale. And I don't know about you, but for me, there's other expenses that I have, like the mortgage, my car payment, food, travel, clothing. So when I'm buying a wig, I do want to take into consideration the price and the cost per wear. And that's where I find that for me, buying a wig on sale is just much better than buying a wig at the full retail price. I mean, I don't buy shoes at full retail price. I very rarely buy clothing at full retail price. So why am I going to buy my hair at full retail price? Doesn't that make sense? So that's it. This was just a short little video and that's it. It was just a short little wig chat. So have a good day. It is raining here in Philadelphia. It wasn't before, but it is now. So that's it. And I will see you later. Take care now.